So we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite subject on YouTube, especially when it comes to the financial sector, is money. And I'm talking about passive income. And everyone talks about and flaunts and reflects that, hey, I make $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 a month in passive income. But the reality is, do you know that they have to pay taxes and expenses and that six, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 is eventually going to be only $1,000? But it is a good start for you to understand and know things like passive income. But I'll talk about that in maybe another video. Leave me a comment below if you want me to talk about expenses and taxes as a freelancer. But in this exclusive video, I will talk about my own updated streams of how I would suggest if you're a content creator and video editor, how you offset your different financial issues, whether that's burdens or you want to have more income in general. When it comes to passive income as a content creator, you might want to consider this and I'll show you exactly what streams of income as a video content creator that you should have or at least know about. So yes guys, I already did make a video about this below prior link description, but this is more of an updated version. And uh, as well as if you stick all the way to the end, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a no BS thing when it comes to the whole passive income stream. But one of the easiest ways as a content creator why you want to consider passive income is because it's passive. You set up a system where you make money for you while you're sleeping, right? That is the quote unquote how people sell you passive income. But one of the easiest ways to understand that is every time you go on YouTube, we're gonna talk about ad displays, right? So every time you're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and you see an ad, someone paid money to get that ad in front of you. And you being a content creator, let's say for example, YouTube, you're watching my YouTube video as a peer, I get a percentage of that. So the, I'm essentially creating content that produces me income through advertisers or businesses putting ads onto my videos. And that is the easiest way to understand ad display. So you're thinking about making content that people put ads on. It isn't something that you should live off of, but if it's a good bonus, especially for creatives, is that, hmm, there, there's a way that I can monetize my art. I can monetize my content. So that is a way that you can understand that, yes, if I make videos on YouTube, you're essentially making passive income. And if you're not, and you're a video creator, what are you doing? Why aren't you in the YouTube partner program yet? The next way when it comes to passive income is what people most likely refer to and recommend to others is selling your product, but it's not for everybody. So whether that's, you know, creating your own course and teaching other people, even though the course creation world is very saturated, I think, in my own opinion, but link in the description below if you want to check out my how you become a freelancer, especially for video and video editing, as well as learning how you can use your camera from auto to manual and get the best settings, especially if you have an icon camera, link in the description below. But what I'm doing is is I'm creating my own digital assets, right? Think of this in the way that every time you be, buy like a love pack, every time you buy a preset, that is someone going into Adobe Premiere, After Effects, whatever it is, and saving all the keyframes, and they're exporting that as one file, and they're making their own digital assets so people can plug and play for their videos. So when you're thinking about creating your own product, you have to figure out, you know, is the market saturated in it? Is it something you're actually an expert at? And is it something that you can do forever, right? The whole purpose of creating a digital asset is that it lives on the internet forever. Yes, that is true, but you need to constantly update it and adjust it. And if you haven't checked out, I have a bunch of Skillshare courses. Link in the description below if you can check that out. Everything from how you edit in Adobe Premiere to YouTube strategy to content creation to social media and dealing with criticism. Link in the description below. And you also get two weeks free. And you try it out you can get access to all my courses. And that's another way, right? In terms of creating digital assets, creating course, creating video that you can sell to other people. And what I highly recommend, let's say you don't wanna make courses. I'm like, no man, there's so much of that fake guru stuff. I don't wanna sell my own expertise out there. What you can also do as a video creator is they have sites like Blackbox. And I myself am actually a member of. So what essentially Blackbox is, is you're selling stock footage and you put your footage up there and then they themselves will upload that video onto Shutterstock, Pond5, Story, Storyblocks, all the stock video footage and you get a percentage for uploading it and people buying it but they themselves also get a percentage for them distributing it. So there's you can also get away from this and you can also upload the videos on these sites specifically but that's what I use to sell my stock video footage especially if you have a drone and a gimbal you can definitely get decent 
reoccurring monthly revenue when it comes to buying your own, people buying your stock footage by just going out there and filming. You might have seen those videos of where people are walking around the city and they're just holding a camera with a gimbal and you're like, why is that person doing it? Chances are they're probably filming and selling stock footage. Last but not least, my own version of uh, passive income online and my own updated stream is that affiliate deals. And what affiliate deals are is that, let's say, hey guys, check out the description below where you guys can check all the equipment that I recommend to you guys that I use, but as well as since I'm providing you the link, let's say through Amazon, Amazon affiliate program, that's one of the easiest ones to do, anyone can sign up for it, is that if you purchase something through that link that I helped you find and you found useful in it, you're gonna buy that product, I get a percentage of that. It's very small, one to 2%, but it adds up every month, month to month. And the thing is, it's evergreen. As long as people keep watching that video of, let's say, a bunch of my review products on the Nikon Z50, someone buys a Z50, I get a percentage of that. And that is the way that you wanna think, is that I'm putting a link and I'm talking about, let's say, I'm giving someone value so you don't have to read a bunch of blog posts, it gets get straight to the point or recommend it, don't recommend it, you buy it, I get a percentage of it, right? That's it. And the thing with affiliate programs is that you wanna sell something, you're selling other people's products, but you wanna be able to believe in it, right? I know a lot of people who would just, they don't care, right? moral ethics out the window. I'm gonna sell you a program and even though I don't believe in it, I care about it because it makes me money even though the product doesn't really work, right? There's a lot of that. You need to do your due diligence, buyer beware, and figure out you know what programs are you currently using. Let's say for example, Adobe Premiere, do they have affiliate program? Use and sell products that you believe in and that's another way of how you make passive income. So that guys, that is how you make passive income and you understand it a little bit. Check out part one of this video, link in the description below. And the whole notion of passive income, there's different schools of thought. But for me, it's been able so I can use this passive income to reinvest back into this YouTube channel, reinvest back into gear. And a lot of people get construed or the fact that, hey, don't work a nine to five, you right? Quit everything and just live off of passive income. But that's not for everybody. You need to know as a content creator, especially, what is it that excites you? Do you like client work? Do you work like working a nine to five? And uh, don't get me wrong, right? Passive income is great, but use it as a building block to figure out what is it that you want next. Don't live completely off of passive income because the reality is a lot of people flex. I make 10K, I make this money, I make, 5k this month i made 3k this month but the month the truth is you, you don't know how much to make next month right what if it's zero what if it's zero right so everything on the internet there is a little bit of facade don't trust everybody trust your gut and passive income is something especially if you're a video creator to dabble your feet in and understand it but also be aware of people trying to sell you the dream right and i just wanted to be honest with you guys that Yes, passive income is a possible that you can live full time off of, but in this day and age where you need to figure out what is it that excites you, don't do it for just the money, especially especially if you're just a creative person, right? It will suck your soul. Make content for yourself, but understand in a business sense that yes, there are ways to create digital assets that you yourself can make money off of, but it should not be your bread and butter. Always think about diversifying whatever it is, especially when it comes to investing, whether it comes to, you know, your friendships, diversify everything. And yes, it includes passive income. And if you wanna get more serious about, let's say, making your freelance a career or getting that first interview as a videographer, link's description below, check that out. I'm gonna essentially walk you through exactly what I use. I have the templates and everything, as well as if you just wanna grab the free camera guide, link's description. Check it in the uh, description below. Have you grabbed it yet? I'm waiting for you. Yeah, you checked out the description? Cool. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.